From a small town in Africa to a world tour stage winner, this is the story of Binim Jamai. Mathieu van der Poel, Jamai to the line, Jamai still has it for the moment. Jamai grew up in Asmara, Persia, about 2,000 meters above sea level. His love for the sport emanated from his father, a carpenter, and his older brother, Heaven. Although it took some time to take root in Jamai, um, a young Jamai would spend afternoons watching the Tour de France in the city's cafes. Although, he said, when you're a kid, it's boring to watch cycling for five hours. When I was 11, I couldn't sit down for more than 30 minutes. I wasn't really passionate about cycling back then. Instead, Jamai would prefer to play football with his friends. When he did turn to competitive cycling, he was inspired by the first Emiratians in Teresa Tour in 2015. Daniel Tekla wore the King of the Mountains jersey for three days at Anmerahoki Kudos. Jamai was racing for fun, but still collected a lot of trophies. It's all about the winning, he says. It's not just in cycling, but my whole life. If you don't win, I don't think you enjoy it. Europe was the next step in his cycling development. Attending the UCI Cycling Centre in Switzerland felt like a quantum leap. The academy designed to develop talented but less advantaged riders was a culture shock. It was a big change to my life, Jamei says. A big door opened in my cycling career, but it was only me who came from Emeritia. Those first months were really difficult. I wanted to go home. I was 18 and it was a totally different culture. We had seven different nations in one team, but I really liked to race, to live my dream. So that's why I passed all those obstacles, communication, living alone. Tough as the experience was, it gave Jamei the chance to live like a professional athlete, to learn about recovery, nutrition, and fitness. On the bike strength was already apparent. He was one of the few juniors to be beating Remco Evenepoel in 2018, and he regularly placed in the top 10. After a year in the under 23 ranks, Jamei signed for French team Nippo Delco 1 Province for 2020. He arrived at Marseille Airport in a t shirt and shorts. The team doctor exclaimed after examining him, He has the harbour climate but the kick of a sprinter. However, there was a steep cultural learning curve for Jamai before he could show his repertoire. If it was raining, he had to force himself to go training. The question cropped up again. How much do you want this? The team's performance manager, Luke, would sometimes have to ride with him for extra motivation. Outside of the stars, he didn't know any riders, Luke said. But that's an advantage too. He could never say, so-and-so is much stronger than me, I can beat him. There were no barriers there. The results backed that up. Delco suffered financial problems and Intermarché Wanti Goubert swooped on the talent, beating off interest from UAE team Emirates. It was the right move, as it would prove easier to have a leading role in the Belgian World Tour squad than it would be with one of the sport's powerhouses. But another reason Jamay signed was for the freedom the team gave him to spend precious time in Eritrea. Him and his wife have an 18-month-old baby, Asmara. When I'm there, I never look at my phone. It's really nice. We spend one century behind. I really like to spend time at home. Despite Binim's superb year, his trainer, Johannes Tamaroudis, believes there is a considerable margin for growth. His base is good, but I still believe he can improve, so he's more efficient at the end of a race, he says. His strength is his anaerobic capacity and the way he can recover at high-intensity efforts. He's also fast and explosive, but he can still improve in his pure strength. Jermay has attracted comparisons to Matthew van der Poel and Wout van Aert, given his ability to get over the hills and contend in the bunch sprints. Tamaroudis sees him more of as a puncheur than a pure fast man, a rider who could achieve success in Milan San Remo and Flanders, someone who finished 12th in his first Milan San Remo, who won Ghent well again, but it was his first year on World Tour, but you never know with this guy. Jermay's rise intertwined with Intermarché Wanti Goubert, they have more wins in 2022 than the previous three years combined and are ranked fifth in the world. Jamey pours over reruns of past races. This season's Milan San Remo was his first, although to watch him, you'd never know his racecraft came from YouTube. It's also easy to forget that the Giro was Jamey's first Grand Tour. Given his top five finishes in the opening eight stages, it became a matter of not if, but when his win would come. Jumping with 250 metres to go on stage 10, he cracked his rivals. That long sprint is Jamey's hallmark. Given his talent, infectious smile and history-making feats, the expectations on Jamey will ramp up. What will Binim Jamey achieve next? Will he win in the Tour de France this year? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.